this is AJ from Paper J Designs. Today I'm going to be working on Urshifu, which this is one of his two forms that you can get in the upcoming Pokemon Sword, Pokemon Shield DLC for the Nintendo Switch. So I'm going to show you the paper cutout process side of my work. To start with, we're going to see this jumbled mess. <laughs> this is in uh, Design Space, which is the Cricut Machine software that you can use to actually cut out the shapes. Uh, it might be a little bit easier to see it with the outline and background being separate. So in this case, um, you've seen a lot of paper cutouts where you just have the outline, you don't necessarily have a background, or if you do, it is actually expanded beyond what the outline would be. But in this case, they perfectly line up so the edge of the tail would match up the edge of the tail in the background layer. So this will kind of give it a nice back layer, it looks better, it feels cleaner, Okay, so to start, I'm going to be using the Strong Grip Purple Cricut Map. Uh, this one is a little bit stickier, it holds a little bit better, and since I'm going to start with the outline and background, which are going to be on the same piece of paper cut out at the same time, it'll just be nicer if I get a mat that is going to be gripping it a little bit harder. to give you an idea of what it is we're working towards. There's a reference image in the corner so you can just kind of see, compare. There's going to be some of these tiny details and in the end these will perfectly overlap with each other so that we've got the color in the middle and then a sturdy back support. going to do the assembly kind of all at once since I went ahead and cut out everything at the same time. Uh, it gets a little bit tricky just in regards to when you have an outline it is nice because you have kind of a basis in which to follow but the big problem for me at least maybe not for others but it's that you have to work from the top down um, so things like the yellow of his nose might cover up the gray behind his face or something like that. It may seem frustrating that so much effort is being put into one color of one layer, um, in just like one piece of paper, but once you establish that one, it everything else will fall into place very neatly behind it. So it's important that you get that first one right or you'll be going back and forth a lot more than you need to. So you'll see some of these shadows are being combined by one piece just to make it a little bit easier in terms of the cutout, in terms of the quality, um, and so that we don't lose that information or it's not easily uh, moved around.
going to attach the back layer to the front layer, which should be pretty quick. It's basically just squeezing together the edges and lining them up, and then we'll be done. And there you have it, the paper cut up cut out for Urshifu, Pokemon Sword, Pokemon Shield, new DLC coming out. Be excited! Final photo shoot coming soon. Thank you.